There are several reasons for replacing the original strut tower caps on a third generation F body. The factory mount has no caster adjustment at all, and it uses a rubber bushing that deflects during turns. When the bushing deflects, your steering accuracy and tire patch changes mid-turn, which can lead to bad handling. Drive your vehicle up car ramps. Pull the parking brake. Place a cinder block behind the rear tires. Remove the hubcap. Loosen the lug nuts with a 19mm socket. Jack up the car. Place jack stands underneath the subframe. Remove the five lug nuts. Place a jack underneath the A-arm. Pop the hood. Disconnect the engine bay light. Remove the strut tower dust cap. Remove the strut tower nut. Remove the three strut tower nuts. Remove the strut tower bracket. Remove the old strut tower mount. Wipe down the strut tower. The original dust covers unfortunately wouldn't fit this application. Your car may be different. These are the caster plates from J&M products. I was told by the third generation forms that they had the most adjustability out of any strut tower brace. Install the new strut tower mount. Install the strut tower mounting bracket with three locking nuts. Raise the A-arm until a few threads from the strut are showing. Install the strut tower nut. Lightly torque down the three strut tower nuts. Tighten the strut tower nut. Reinstall the wheels. Jack up the car off the jack stands. Remove the jack stands. Lower the car to the ground. Torque the five lug nuts to 76 pound-feet. Close the hood. The next step after this install would be to get your car aligned at a shop. However, you do not want to use the factory alignments that Chevy designed back in the 90s. These are the proper alignment specs for a third generation F body. Do not use the factory alignment. It's garbage. It handles very poorly, it tracks poorly, and it makes your tires wear out. If you have any more questions, the third generation F body forums are a great source of information. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and a comment below.